<laughs> the enamel is being crazy. <laughs> I, I panicked. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode 43 of the Misanthropod. I'm Snipe and as always I'm joined by Wib. Say hello. Hello. And I'm joined by Dremble Bum. Say hello. Hello. So you lovely gentlemen, how have you been? I've been okay. Um, we've we've been very busy recently, we which I'll been. get to in a second. Mm-hmm. And you, Mr. Matthew? Uh, I've been good. I've been yeah less busy than you, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm pretty good by comparison, I think. Yeah, for now. <laughs> Uh, because yeah, we're we're moving house, so just in time for Christmas, just we're moving in... on the twenty second of December. Yeah, because fuck everything, <laughs> as if this time of year wasn't horrible and stressful enough. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So we're, um, if we're not putting out quite as much content and not streaming as much, and we don't have say many topics for the podcast we're currently recording. That might be the reason. Might be. <laughs> I mean, what we can do is go back to the last podcast, just chop it in half and re-release the second half. Because <laughs> it was oh, fucking long it last DLC. time. DLC. <laughs> It'll be amazing. That, yeah, the last podcast was a bit ridiculous in length. It I don't was. quite know how that happened. We didn't really have anything to talk about, did we? Uh, I, I think we had a lot of little things to talk about that just spiraled out of control. Well, yeah, yeah. But hey, hey, we managed to do something that was over two hours long and it didn't, you know, instantly turn off everyone. So that's probably a bonus in the long run. Probably a bonus, yeah. I just don't think we should make a habit of it. No, probably Eh. not. I do actually have one um, minor bit of of channel... um, What's what's the word? Um, News. Not really. Update. Yeah, a little update. Um, Because, you know, you might not have noticed this. Uh, One thing that we've started to do is... When we stream, we've started to back it up on the YouTube channel, and it's an unlisted video, but it's there's a playlist of them that's down the bottom on the main YouTube page. There's like a stream archive thing. You can also find it in the playlist thing on our channel. Um, not every single stream will go in there, because there might be a few. Like, there's one I recently did playing FTL that I don't give a shit about, and so that one's, <laughs> that one's probably not going to get backed up, because I, I didn't think it was a particularly good stream, but... Anyone that the rest of them will probably get backed up. So uh, if you miss, if you you know can't get to our streams, then there will be a backup that will last more than two weeks now. So uh, the current ones up there are oh, bad end, which is a terrible oh, visual yeah. novel. We I played. don't. I love how oh the FTL one was bad. Bad end was worse. <laughs> yeah, but I, Ooh, that no, was no, a no. Bad game. The game was terrible, but I I, th- I think we managed to. Okay, we managed to make something remotely entertaining from something that was not. Mm. Okay. I'm just upset that we didn't have the, the Christmas drunkathon or whatever it was. The Halloween <laughs> drunkathon oh, with, yeah. with, with Matt and Ruth, because that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, well. That was an amazing fucking evening. From now on, any kind of special streams, that, those ones will 100% yeah. be backed up, but yeah. So, yeah, are you guys up for like that next, next year for Halloween? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that yeah, would be definitely. fucking awesome. Good. But yes, there's that, and there's a Death Watch um, stream I did with uh, Michael of Tatsuka Imperialis, um, showed up to keep me company on that, so those are both backed up, so if you want to see them, that's another, like, five hours worth of content, <laughs> you know? <laughs> because, you know, why the fuck not? I, I, yeah, okay. But that's that's the thing, so, yeah. But, apart from that, uh, I guess we should get onto what we've been up to. I mean, I guess. So, Snipe, what have you been doing? Nothing. Nothing. Nah, I'm just, just yanking your chain. Okay. I've done at least, like, a thing. A thing. <laughs> a thing. Yeah, I mean, apart from, like, moving stuff, which basically involves in filling black bags with garbage and filling the front room with it and then putting all our stuff in boxes, I think we've just got to my comic books now. That's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are remarkably heavy. Comic while being books quite are way small. heavier than you think. Yeah, don't tape up the bottom of the box. Because yes. I've made this oh, mistake yes. before and the boxes have exploded because comics are just heavier than you think they should be. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Um, so yeah, I've got to put all those away. So yeah, the house looks like a bomb's fucking hit it. It's horrible. 
But we're getting there, and it's probably going to be fine. But what I have been doing in between is playing a lot of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Oh, okay. <laughs> that game that I can't play. Yeah, I know. Because my phone is too old. And oh, it just says, really? it just says, no, you oh. can't. It goes, no, you can't, you poor son of a bitch. Buy a new iPhone. And then... God, you're dumb. And, and you're like, wow, a Apple. A single tear roll comes out my eye. Which one? And then I, uh, I go and open up my DS and play Animal Crossing Wild World <laughs> and says... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but this one you can. I, I've befriended a bunch of Japanese people who are begrudgingly kind of just like friends with me. <laughs> They're like, Ugh. okay, it's so, like you know when a friend request isn't answered for like a day, and you're like, you don't really want to be friends with me. I get that. That's fine. You don't know me from fucking Adam, but but it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It's all the same. It it really doesn't. I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, I've been playing that. It's a little free. To, free what was it? They refer to it as a free to install. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which is like, okay, it's it's getting that way. Um, game from Nintendo. Animal Crossing, you've basically got a little camp that um, that you, you get like a few areas where you can go catch bugs or, or shake down trees or go fishing. Standard Animal Crossing kind of stuff. And you level up with every friendship level you, you give to the animals. And you basically have to run errands for these animals that like they're on like a rotation. Like every few hours, there's like a bunch of new ones. Okay. And you've got to do like three or so requests for them which is like bring me eight pears or whatever and like the pear trees take three hours to regen unless you unless you got fertilizer which you know <laughs> will cost you some premium currency <laughs> just that kind of stuff which is it, honestly as far as like nintendo because the other one i played of theirs was um mitomo and that was really egregious with kind of like oh yeah this um this 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 wig costs four thousand like money <laughs> 4,000 monies. Yeah, I can't remember what the currency was called, but it was just a bit... And that and it was like, fuck all to do. It was like, the Sims, like, create a Sim, but they're charging you for clothes. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, yeah. EA, I'm fucking copywriting that. You can't do that now. <laughs> fuck you, EA, because someone at EA is just fucking cum. <laughs> like, ooh, that's a really good idea. I've just, accept- I've just accepted your friend request, by the way. <laughs> because I felt guilty because you asked for my ID thingy ages ago and then you just said yeah some people just ignore friend requests I was like oh shit that's probably me <laughs> it is you I can't believe you are vaguing in the podcast he is literally fucking ugh, no no it, okay it's not my fault I, I, I'm being like super salty just <laughs> so is Animal Crossing any good it's it's an okay time waster okay I, I you know it's like it, there's certain elements of it that kind of very evidently the f- the free to install part so it's like a bunch of animals at once will go oh i need two pears and three squid and then you go and go to the place where squid like spawn and you you try and fish for them suddenly they're nowhere to be found but if you pay some premium currency which you do get premium currency like yeah. login bonuses it's just it's a bit of a trickle rather than just getting a big big chunk all at once uh, so yeah, if you if you like use a fishing net, then you know you who knows you might get some uh, you might get some squid in there, and it's like it's that kind of stuff is really annoying. But you just I did, I'm just kind of like oh, I'm not paying you money. I'm yeah. sorry, yeah, I'm just fucking yeah. not. <laughs> but no, it, it's been a fun time waste. I have been enjoying kind of just like every three hours being like, ooh, what animals can I go and bribe to be my friend today? <laughs> Yeah, it's entirely based around bribing friendship. It really is. It's like you show up and they're like, oh, hi, um, I, who are you? And you're like, oh, I'm, I'm Snipe, hi. And they're like, okay. And then you give them stuff and they're like, then they start yeah. liking you. And, and you, just, <laughs> that, you just you keep giving them stuff. And they come to your camp and go, oh, sorry, your sofa isn't good enough for me. Fuck you. No, this is the thing. If you want animals to come and hang out at your camp, you ha- that, like you have to have certain items or certain bits of furniture crafted because of course it's a crafting system it's basically dead space full <laughs> honestly <laughs> yes i'm sure and i'll just say if someone comes to our fucking house and is judgmental about our couch they can fuck off okay this is the thing they won't come to your house until you have the couch they like and so it's like you know like we're inviting drummer matt around it's like me it's like drummer matt going guys do you have do you have this specific brand of television? And we're like, no, no, mate, we don't. He's like, fuck you then. <laughs> I'm staying at home. It's like you know, it's I don't understand it. And myself, just because but... I have done that in the past doesn't mean it's a good. Okay, thing Okay, I'm sorry that I'm vaguing so hard about you today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but <laughs> it's like, dude, we just, we, I, I'm sorry, it wasn't the right model. Like Jesus, 
<laughs> just a side note, viewers or listeners. Anytime someone won't come around your house because you don't have the, like, I don't know, a cactus, don't be friends with that person. They're, <laughs> they're fucking crazy. They're, yeah, that's the type of person who will end up wearing your skin. It's so. like, yeah, I, got, I can't come to your house. Why? You don't have a cactus. Wait, why, why do you need... I, you need a cactus. These, I can't be in a house unless it has a cactus. The are, government are listening. These are toxic people. You need to cut out your life. Yes. So, the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp basically just tries to indoctrinate you into accepting toxicity and horrible friends into your life. Okay, I think we should just leave that discussion there. Yes. And not elaborate or back down on it whatsoever. <laughs> like, one of my animals at my camp called Cherry, I really like her. She's really cool because she's got, like, a cobweb shirt and she's a dog with ear piercings. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, she, I, I, I get why you like that. Yeah, she's a dog. But yeah, she's like, hey, can you We're give me... We're not advocating you piercing your dog's ears in real life. Just just to clarify. She's like an anthro dog or whatever. So it's like a cute yeah, little yeah, yeah. thing. And she's she's like a punk rocker dog. And I think she's amazing. Like there's Kyle the wolf who's super cool. So I, I got a leather jacket from him. I'm super happy. <laughs> but yeah, and like I go up to Cherry and she's like, hey, Snipe, can, can you do me a favor? And I'm like, uh, this is new. Okay. She's like, I need a convertible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I think that might what? be a bit above your pay grade. No, no, I'm making. I'm literally called the guy. I called up my guy, oh, and I'm your like, guy. I'm like, Cyrus, make me a convertible. I want, I want all of these serial numbers shaved off. This cannot be traceable. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to think, I burn a phone, obviously. Obviously, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I think Sherry's in deep with the the Italian mafia. Okay. Honestly, mm. all the I, I think like she's kind of been playing them against the Irish mob. She, she's in deep. I, is is uh, the nukes involved? Because I yes. always kind of assume that they're in some kind of organised crime. Yeah, yeah. There's 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 some kind of like low grade kind of dirty bombs kind of kind of going around in the background. So the dirty bombs. Yes, it's horrible. Uh, d- you know, dirty bombs like they're just not very clean. They've been rusted. That's... They've been up in Alaska for like two years. It is like no one's been fucking <laughs> dusting underneath them. There's fucking spider webs on the motherfuckers. Okay. And you have to like they've got that layer of grease. Like you know when you like been cooking in a kitchen, and you just like you like say a pan lid will fall down the back, and you've been cooking uh... for like six months, and it's got that layer of kind of just miscellaneous cooking grease. Okay. Yeah, basically like that. Once this podcast is done, I want you to Google what a dirty bomb is. I've just told you what a dirty bomb is. Just, just. Do this I've for me. I've just told you. Do this for me. It's got dust bunnies on it. Like, anyway, like, what else have you, have you been doing? Shit clean? What? what else have you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> I've also been watching The Punisher. Yes. That's, that's really cool. I fucking love it. It's the Netflix oh, okay. series. I like I like The Punisher. I'm, as I mentioned previously, I'm a bit of a comic book fan. Love me some Marvel. They're very good. Yay. Very, very good stuff. Not seen many of the kind of like uh marvel series uh, oh, so, I, so which which ones have you seen i've seen jessica jones i saw mm. the punisher pretty that, sure that's, that's it, it isn't yeah it that's you? it yeah I, okay well, i've never really okay. cared for daredevil but i had I've, I've heard it's very good I've, I've watched season one of daredevil mm. anyway yeah i've been um, meaning to watch i want to watch luke cage because that looks really good as well iron fist uh, I, I probably just watched that for just completionism because i've heard that's not very good Mm. But yeah, I'll I do it, mean to I'll watch the other, the other seasons of Daredevil and um, solely because Punishes well, in it. well, yeah, it leads up to the events of this series. Not that I, there's been any part of of the Punisher series so far that I felt like I've missed out by not no, having seen Daredevil. No. So, but yeah, so I, I'm because I, I heard the Punisher was really really good, and I was like, ah, eh, I'll I'll watch it, and I watched, and I, I think the last thing I saw was that Punisher movie. Which one? The first one. You know the one with John Travolta in it? I don't remember. Honestly. The really bad one. (sighs) That's probably the one I'm thinking of. Yeah. Where he, like, numbs up this guy, and then he's, like, apparently he's, like, burning him. He's, like, branding him behind his back. And the guy's, like, he's, like, oh, yeah, you won't feel this, but it'll be really horrible. It's, like, smell that. It's, like, that's your skin burning. And the guy's freaking out. And the guy, he, like, blabs and tells him everything. And he turns around and goes, huh, the joke's on you. I was burning a gammon joint. And it's, like, who the Fuck what? The Punisher would not <laughs> no. do that. Fuck off! He would have literally he would have done that to the guy's fucking gooch. Yeah. Just f- fuck you with the, the the pain like the the numbing crate. Fuck off. The Punisher is is like he punishes people. He's for Bat- starters. He's Batman taken up to eleven. Mm-hmm. As in, it's like no, no. He will just fucking kill you. Yeah, which is why he he's so will. fucking cool. Like, there's yeah. no there's no ambiguity about it. Is that's that's just what he does. Yeah. And, like, 
that's what he's been doing in the series. I mean, like, they really do a really great job. Like, the casting is fantastic. The acting is great. Like, the guy they got to play the Punisher is awesome. He is really fucking cool. Because he, he can do intense, but he can do a bit... He can do kind of, like, almost funny, I guess. It's not too grim. It's, it's, he's not like... You know how in The Matrix everyone's like, Oh, everything's like... Oh, the machines are just being horrible. No one they smiles. They just don't get me. No one smiles. Topical reference. Good. Good. Yep. Yep. To- nice topical reference for the Matrix fans. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe <laughs> if you like the Matrix, kids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could have just yeah. said any yeah. modern, um, like, DC film, because that, that, that applies there oh, as yeah. well. Okay. The Justice League. Ugh, fucking I, I've not seen Justice League. Really I couldn't terrible, say. I've heard else? it's terrible, yes. Yeah. Um... um <laughs> But yeah, I was I was really surprised. I mean, obviously they can't make him have, make him a Vietnam vet now. That's mm. the problem with with you know comic book characters and long running characters. It's like so they've made him like a an Afghanistan kind of war vet kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, he's an Afghan vet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and like he he has a mate who's in um who's in like counselling and he goes and listens in every now and again. And, you know, just, like, because he's, he's, he's basically lying low because everyone thinks he's dead. And he's got, like, a construction job and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's, it's really cool. I mean, like, there's a lot of little touches I really, really fucking like. Like, you first see him and he's, like, he's like smashing down this this wall in, on this construction site with a sledgehammer without any gloves on. And the moment I saw it, I was like, fuck off is he, like, doing that? Like, his hands are going to be blistered to fuck. You know, thinking I'm all this, like, super <laughs> error-spotting big dick badass. And then, like, he gets home, and he washes his hands, and they're just full of blisters. And I'm like, okay. You actually see when he puts down the hammer to begin with, there's blood on yeah. the hammer. Yeah, and you're just like, and it doesn't really harp on it, but you're just like, wow, okay, that's that's some good attention to detail. You know, he's, he's not just, like, he's not just brawn, he's brains, like, in the way that, like, there's certain things he does where he'll set up, he'll, he'll, go, and he'll go after someone, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but certain things will kind of work out, and you'll be like, oh shit, how's he going to get out of it? And he's like, you really think I'm that fucking stupid? And it turns out that he, 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 he did something really clever, and <laughs> the guy's actually got the gun with the blanks in, or whatever. And it's, it's really cool, and, and like, it's, it's very mature and very, very well written when it comes to like PTSD. Yeah, it does tackle. It a does lot tackle, of stuff. like you know, because um, you know yeah. the whole thing about the Punisher is his family were murdered, and he's got a massive rage boner about it, so he's going to go kill all the bad men. Yeah, well, bad bad people, but yeah, and it's like it, you know it treats that really well, and like it deals with like a lot of veterans, and like there's one guy who's like he can't disconnect from the war. He's just he's basically he came home, but he didn't kind of thing, and is just showing how difficult it is for him to readjust and. And how there's like a support network there, and and how everyone is dealing with it differently. And it's like, wow, this is very well done. Hmm. It's it's kind of yeah. I've just been so impressed with it because I guess I'm I usually expect this sh- this to be really shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've heard it, especially when it comes to like oh, grim dark Frank yeah. Castle. I mean, I've heard it goes on for a little bit too yeah. long. Um, it kind of drags out a little bit towards the end, and we're about halfway through. I think. I think so. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. So, I don't know if it... Uh, obviously, like, we don't know, but that's that's the only downside I've heard about it. Yeah. Uh, did you ever see Punisher Warzone, I think it's called? It's in my list on Netflix. I never got the guts to watch it, because I was just like, it's the pork. He was burning pork. No, the no. Punisher would not burn gammon. Okay, I'll put it this way. Punisher Warzone is not a good movie, but it is significantly better than the, like, theatrically released Punisher movie. Okay. Like, by a lot. Because they actually vaguely understand what the Punisher is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how's it give that a watch? Then? Yeah, I mean, I... I mean, fuck, I watched I, the Electra movie. I mean, a, that as a recommendation yeah. is not a, it's not a glowing recommendation. It's just, it's better than really bad previous movie. It's better than being punched in the... It's better than Electra, certainly. Well, so is being punched in the dick. That's true. So is actually being tortured by the Punisher. Yeah. Because then, then at least you'd be like, oh my god, this is so hot. Well, at least I get. To, at least I get to eat gammon at the end of it. <laughs> at least he's going to cook me a delicious meal. 
the punishment is is that he cooks it and he doesn't give you quite as much as you want. Yeah, the the, the uh. problem is he makes you this delicious roast dinner, like like really like he somehow managed to make like the the, the beef and the pork really moist and really tasty, and it's just really flavorful. He's obviously gone out of his way to like to get a really good bit like bits of meat, mm. and he's got some nice creamy mashed potatoes with a lot of butter in them and and really nice vegetables, and then he gives <sighs> you really watery gravy. Oh, yeah, uh, he's a fucking sick son of a bitch. He said he, he gives it you, and you go, "Why?" And he's like, "This isn't justice; it's punishment." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, Marvel, Marvel, if you're hiring, we, yeah, yeah, we, we can do this for you. We can write some amazing little Punisher bits. <laughs> but yeah, Punisher's pretty good. It's very good. Yeah, I like it. Have you seen it, Matt? Uh, I have not. No. Um... I've seen. I saw the first season of Daredevil, and I really enjoyed it. And I, I saw the second, the first season of Jessica Jones, and I really enjoyed it until the, it it just went on a bit too much, and I lost interest. I watched. I watched it all. Yeah. But I don't know. Just after that, I was not. I, I did not enjoy it. But I was just. I haven't watched anything else since. I've just not because I don't want to. Just have to never had any inclination to do it. I I do think the Marvel shows, like the Netflix Marvel shows, anyway, because I haven't watched um, Agents of Shield or yeah, um, I mean, oh, what was the other one? Um, Agent was, Carter. Yeah, that's the one. Um, I've heard they're good too. Yeah, oh, I mean, no, I've heard. Wasn't Agents of Shield is supposed to be terrible, but it's like that kind of terrible. It's really entertaining. It gets better. better as well. The first season's not great, and it yeah. kind of gets better. And as it got better, I stopped and then just stopped watching that yeah. point as well. So, <laughs> but knows? yeah, I mean, if I mean, obviously, the complaint that I've heard about the Punisher, I would say applies to the other Netflix series that I've sat through, where you could probably shave about five episodes off them and you just make the story a little bit tighter because they last yeah. a little bit longer. I mean, maybe it's just maybe it's just because I'm British and I'm just used to series lasting six episodes. <laughs> yeah. like Sherlock has like... What, like oh God. Sherlock has like it's three like, episodes per season. And it's like every year or something stupid. It's Yeah, that's got a really weird series structure. Oh God, what did I say? I saw someone like making fun of British TV series. It's like... Oh yeah, this show is is a household like name. Everyone knows this show. Like it's it's been going since 1970. The whole six episodes are available on iPlay. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds like a British show. <laughs> It's like fucking ten episodes since the seventies. That sounds about right. Well, it's that thing you realize a lot of like As opposed especially... to Americans like like series, which is like oh yeah, there's four hundred episodes this season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're usually like twenty odd or something. Yeah. I mean, I do... 420, it's literally the same. <laughs> but yeah, I think a lot of people forget that some of like the big classic series, especially like comedy series in Britain, like that everyone knows, like things like Faulty Towers has like 12 episodes. Yeah, I was going to say it has like <laughs> yeah. 11 or 12 episodes. There's... So the Young Ones has like about that, doesn't it? Yeah, The Young Ones is I think 12 episodes yeah. as well, because it's two seasons. And that ends... Oh, that's a knee slapper, that ending. <laughs> that's so fucking British. No offence. Not as bad as Blackadder. Black, okay, Blackout Which again, is way worse. It's like, it's like the ending of Time Bandits traumatised me as a child. I mean, oh, Blackadder... That was got, horrifying! Blackadder is 24 episodes and a few specials. Oh, dang, that's and that's long. And that's it. Um, the, only, the, the only ones that really do have a, a lot of episodes, and even then, when I say a lot of episodes, I mean it's got about as much as a three-season American show. <laughs> Is like Red Dwarf and um, Only Fools and Horses and things like that. Oh, I hate Only Fools. Oh my god. I <clears throat> So on the way to my brother's house, on the main road, there was a fucking cafe. And I'm <laughs> so mad. I hate this stupid place. Because it's got the Only Fools and Horses like uh, like logo. But it's called Only Foods and Sauces. And every time we drive past it, I just fucking... They don't fucking... serve drinks. No, I just get so fucking mad. No, what they do is they stick a fucking straw in a bottle of ketchup and they're all like lovely fucking jubbly or whatever <laughs> david jason fucking bleh <laughs> it makes me so mad i fucking hate that place pox on me. i kind of want to go into it no i, I, I want to know if they make good food no they make foods and sauces i mean i guess there's no there's no proclamation that is literally of the... right next to a field full of like scraggly horses as well yeah there's no proclamation of those things being good it's just they make what they give they provide foods and sauces. I'm so mad. It's not hate, good I hate, food. I hate that it's just food. Place. I hate that place so fucking much. <laughs> I always forget about it until either someone reminds me that only fools and horses is a thing, or we drive past it and then I'm just like, start foaming at the fucking mouth. <laughs> because fuck off, I'm so angry. I just uh, thought about it. Do, do people remember only fools and horses anymore? Um, I think yeah, people our age do. I don't think, I don't know if, if like, 
young uns do. <laughs> them young yes, uns. if you don't, it's it's an old British series that was running for fucking decades. We had long boy and short boy, and they were like always in a pub. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That, that description is both very wrong and very right at the same time. It's yeah. amazing. An Australian describes only fools and horses. <laughs> and they, they hang out at a pub and they're, like the short boy's always doing like... Ski, like You know, like, the, the, like there's a stereotype of the guy who, who sells you like pirated DVDs down the pub. He's basically like that, but before DVDs existed. I so think I, selling pirate selling, video like, was know. a thing that he did. Yeah, yeah he was like, he, I don't know, he sold ke- ketamine to school kids or fucking whatever it was. <laughs> no, no, he was he was a, he was more of a, a a lovable rogue than a uh, an actual out and out criminal. Was how he was, he was portrayed. He was selling pirated movies. It's kind of crimes. Uh, the Punisher will be. Oh my god, <laughs> that crossover! <laughs> yes, that would be amazing. And only fools and horses, and like versus the Punisher. I'm just yes. Like, a yellow three wheeler drives down the street and rides over a landmine and fight <laughs> castles just at the side of the road, just nodding, going, "Justice has been done here today." <laughs> oh my god, I want that so badly. I hope that's like a Christmas episode of the Punisher Netflix series. <laughs> You see, you can tell when we don't have a lot to talk about because we go off on these fucking nonsensical tangents. Yeah, but darling, to be fair, we go off on these nonsensical rants regardless. Yeah, so. but they usually get cut out. Yeah, they do. <laughs> this is true. Um, yes. Apart from that. Hey, does anyone remember Goodnight Sweetheart? Okay, we're not talking about Goodnight Sweetheart. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. Largely on account of it was mostly just Nicholas Lyndhurst looking wet. Tall boy. <laughs> Tall boy who travels back in time to 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 old lady woman. Yes. And <laughs> is a bit of a scumbag. Yeah. 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 He was a spy for the war and kept bringing her nylons. It's You're fine. not doing very good at not talking about this. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing. <laughs> You're just watching The Punisher and Animal Crossing and just fucking piling fistfuls of garbage into bags all day, every day, because this is my life now. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yes, moving on. Wib, what have you been up to? Very little. Okay, draw them out. What have you been up to? What? I have one thing to say. Okay, make it quick. <laughs> you look like you've got something to say. Do you? <laughs> um, I just wanted to mention, because I've brought this up a couple of times on the podcast, I did finally beat the storyline of Death Watch. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, good. That mobile game that's... That you hate, but you keep playing. Well, that's... no, you don't hate it, you just... There's so much wrong with it, but you keep I th- playing. I think I love it, but it's terrible. That's what you said to me on our wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just I, I just wanted to mention it because um, once you've beaten the game on its normal mode, it then unlocks the harder modes, and I've been playing through that a bit. Um, but because I have this weird conflicted relationship with this game, that I've played it for 37 hours at this point. <laughs> okay. Yet is it that is, all casual? Yet, basically, every level of it I can complain for about 20 minutes about. Like, I think I'm going to make a video as, like, one half a review, one half kind of a therapy session for myself. <laughs> okay. Hey, Hey, if that's a positive step in your life, you need to take. Yeah, to, to try and back. to try and work out um, what this game is and why I like it, despite it being fundamentally terrible. <laughs> hey, hey! Like one of my favorite get- fighting games ever is Evil Zone. I cannot judge you. Yeah, Evil Zone's problems are largely to do with its time. Yeah, and it won't cook the fucking PlayStation either. Yeah. That is a thing. <laughs> uh, Death Watch does that, by the way. Um, if you don't fix a, a new file, it V-Sync can cook your graphics card. V-Sync doesn't work. You've got to figure out how to put V-Sync on properly, and even then, it you still get frame tearing. Yeah, so that's, because, that's a thing. <clears throat> that's that's a solid reason, I think. But yeah, so I beat it, I beat it and yeah, I've been uh, trying to uh, accumulate my thoughts about what I what I feel about it to make it into a video. Although it was really fucking salty because. I unlocked a tier 4 um, grav gun. That sounds pretty rad. Now, tier 4 is the highest rank of weapons and marines. Uh, so it's a high-end one. And it was um, modelled after the Howling Griffins. 
uh, which is like, okay, that's cool. That's that's a not an obscure chapter per se, but a, a chapter that doesn't get quite as much love as you know the big ones. Mm. So it's like, okay, that's, yeah, cool. Nah, that's cool. Especially considering they're from like Rogue Trader. They're, well, they're someone's the going to be ones. sitting there who collects them. Just, he's just like squeeing, like, ah, yeah. my army. And the weapons really cool. I actually really like the noise that they give to gravity guns. Uh, it was graviton guns, isn't it? I always forget that fucking name. <laughs> They came out in the intervening time when I wasn't playing for the game. I just call them so. grabs, it's fine. Um, but the gun makes a weird noise. Like, it's weird high-pitched whine. Um, yeah. And it's just weird, and I just really like it. Um, but, so I get this weapon, it's really powerful, I like it. It's themed after a chapter that's a little bit obscure, so I'm like, eh, it's fun. It's the one weapon I found in the game that's texture does not load when it's in-game. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> okay. that's very professional. This is, this is consistent. I have not... It has never loaded. The only time it loads is when it's using the high-res version, so when you're very close to it. <sighs> so if you're playing the game at the normal like distance, it's scaled out. You can't see it. You have to zoom in to actually see the texture. But the good is good enough. So does the, I've continued to does use the it. Does the mesh load... Does it have like a... Um... A placeholder texture, or is it just? Invisible? It's just gray. It's just a solid gray color. So it's literally got <laughs> no texture at all. Yeah, it's got no texture. It's just. It's just smooth shaded. Yeah, it's just smooth shaded. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake! Good, good. Yet I keep playing this game, and that's that's what it does to me all that's the time. That's worrying. <laughs> Although to be fair, I did come in from shopping earlier, and all I heard this was like. Eh, eh. <laughs> Oh, just yeah. like Tyrion is just, just, just sitting around, just being noisy little cheeky boys. Oh, it's because I was helping you put the shopping away. I just um, Tyrion just, eh! It was like in between, uh, in between, um, <laughs> like turns, and because there was so many Tyrion because I was playing it on the harder mode, they were just constantly yelling and making me <laughs> just, eh! <laughs> noises eh! constantly. It was so awesome. I mean, for the first like few times, I was like, "The fuck is that?" <laughs> and then you were like, "Tyrion is." I was like, "That sounds about right." It's little gribblies, little gribblies, and it was super uh, cute. But yeah, that's that's all I have to say. So, uh, Matthew, what do you have to say today? What have um, you been up to? What have you seen? Tell us, we must know. So, well, I've already told you about one of them, because I already wasted a few days of your life on this, I think. Oh, yes. I found out about Universal Paperclips. I will not let you infect our <laughs> listeners. Stop. <laughs> Stop right there. You've already um, claimed Ash. He's not going to be playing D&D, like, tomorrow, or whenever. Because he's going to be playing that fucking game. Oh no, I finished the game, so it's one of those ones, you finished it, there's no replay value in it at all, oh so God. it's gone from my life now completely. Are you yeah, sure I've you've not thing. just been tricked into mining bitcoins for fucking EA or something? <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> so, I guess before we start, before I explain what it is, I think I'll give the two caveats that I gave to you when I told you about it. In that one, don't find out what it is unless you've got a day or two to kill. <laughs> And two, don't start it on a phone or something. It's not very well done for phones. And also, it goes on a little way. So if you start it on your phone and go I, an hour in, you go, I want to move this onto PC. You, yeah, you, it's not going to end well. You've got to start again and that's not fun. So load it up on a PC or a computer of some sort. And yeah, only do it if you've got a, a good day at least to kill. Because <laughs> you dive into it quite a lot. <laughs> And I don't know how much I want to give away from it. Um, so I guess a recommendation is go and just have a quick look if you want to if you play dare. it without without knowing what happens. I guess can, you can describe what the genre of game is so people yeah, know it's, if it's, it's the sort a, of thing. It's a, cli- it's a clicker game, basically. Yeah. You start off and you're, you're basically an AI and you're tasked with making paperclips. So it starts off and it's just a blank screen and you click a button to make a paperclip. And you're like, oh. Okay, and then you can press it again, and you make another paperclip. And then, like, uh, after you've made, like, a hundred paperclips or some some number of paperclips, you can make a little thing that automatically makes a paperclip every second. And then you can make more of them. And then you can upgrade them. And then things escalate, I guess is probably the best way of saying it. Yes. <laughs> things escalate dramatically. Oh, God. I... I... You see, I have a bit of a soft spot for clicker games anyway. Like, I accept that they are trash, but... Hey, if you like Yeah, this, this is subtly, is slightly different, and it is just a clicker game, but it's slightly different to some. It really reminds me of games that I would play in sort of the early 2000s. Because you get those sort of things, like, um, where you... Like anti-productivity games, you'd get, like, you'd sneak at college. Yeah, or even stuff like, um, oh, what were they called? Like, it was like, I remember a... Gangland sort of game 
where like drug he, dealer simulators. Yeah, like my dr- brother played that for so long. Where people would invade each other's like drug dens, and you mm-hmm. you, ha- you you like you, it was it was fundamentally just clicking things and, and gaining more more money and more resources. So I remember that game was really weird because you end up sitting there going like, okay, so this gangland thing, I had two hundred thousand henchmen guarding my drug den, which had. <laughs> Four billion dollars of drugs in it, and then I was invaded by, by Czechoslovakia. I w- no, I was invaded by a rival gang who had like three million henchmen. And I was like, "What is the economy of this world?" I want, I want a TV show based on that kind of thing. Like, well, there there appears to be four hundred million of this gang in this area where like the population is about, I don't know. 1.5 million. It's like it, it, it's it's that like if like... the Horus Heresy was just about drug deals <laughs> and took place in the space of I don't know Scotland. It's, yeah, <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't remember what the name of the game was, but Christ, yeah, we that, need that's... to make yeah, that it's... thing again. I love it. Three million henchmen. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, this this is a similar sort of thing. The numbers start getting getting ludicrous. Um again this is this will be slight spoilers to the end, but in the end, I think when you finish the game on one of the endings, I, I had I think it was thirty Oh, I can't even remember it gets you know like so numbers will go billion, then it's like trillion gigabillion. Quadrillion like um so it's like four like quadrillion is yeah, it gets every each time it goes up, it goes up at like and three orders of magnitude, and I ended up with like nineteen, tri- like not nineteen trillion, but not or nineteen billion, but nineteen billion billion billions or whatever it is. <laughs> like some like it, yeah, some ridiculous ludicrous. That's too many paper clips. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it. Um, I mean, I I haven't. I didn't even realize there was an ending because that there's a phase in it to, which I assume is quite is relatively near the end that kind of ground to a halt a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, I ground to a halt until I. You, there's there's things you can do to not grind to a halt. It's just I wasn't doing them. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, because they're, 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 there's not really any. But there's a bit where it sort of slows down a bit. But then depending what you could do, you, you can fix that. Oh, okay. Depending okay. on you, just have to sort of yeah. Power through well, a little um, bit. I'll have a talk to you uh, after the podcast yeah, and see what I can do because I, I, I would like to see where it leads. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Okay. Paperclip yep. game. Yeah, I know it's about paperclip, honey. It's fine. It, this is <laughs> this is just our life now. <laughs> yeah, Ruth got back from work and she was like, "How's your day?" I told her about paperclips. paperclips. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "Um, what?" And I was like. Paper clips. <laughs> just release just, the hypno drones. <laughs> but, but it's great because, like, yeah, after I finished it, I probably spent probably like seven or eight hours, I reckon, in total um, over a couple of days. Yeah, like but, but when you finish game, it, there's so no like good. replay value or anything. So now it's just like, okay, I did that and that was a thing I did and now I'm over it. So it absorbs your life, but just for a short amount of time and then it stops. So yeah, I guess you can't complain. Yeah, yeah. no, it was good fun and I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm glad I got you into it, and I'm also a bit sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We, we we dragged you into this whole podcasting <laughs> thing. We've already ruined your life, so it's only fair. I, I realise at the moment, especially, is not a time when I'm meant to be distracting a couple of days from your life. <laughs> this is very true. Luckily, I haven't even. I'm not even fucking. I haven't even played it. I refuse to. I have shit to okay. do. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's I fair. really do have things to do. So, uh, but apart from the paper clips, is there anything else you've uh, you've been up to, dude? Uh, not really. No, I spent the last other than paper clips. I've been. Um, I mentioned last time about converting all my notes on our D and D world into um, a OneNote um, interactive filey thing. Yay. So I've been basically doing that like pretty much solidly for the last two weeks. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Work, dude. Are you yeah. Finished? I'm, I'm. I'm finished now, and I've got notes of. I've actually gone back and made notes of past sessions as well, and linked that all into it. And yeah, it's all good. So I can just concentrate on going forward now because I need to have a bit of a plan for. What we're doing on Saturday. Yeah, yes. nice. Um, which I guess we'll talk about next. Yeah. yeah. I've still got to write up my... Segway! Segway! That was a very, very good, classy segue you got there, Drama Bot. Yeah, that was good. It's good. And it n- made only classier by the fact that we mentioned it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. you got to point these things out, otherwise they're not funny or noticeable or yeah, impressive. Yeah, it's like when you explain a joke, it immediately gets twice as funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. at least. 
Mm. At least, I mean, it's, it's pretty. It varies, but it's always at the at the very worst two times. You know what's the best thing is if you explain a joke, but also you drag it out like yeah, really, yeah. really long. That that the multiplier gets off the chart, especially when you start just repeating the same thing over and over again. It's at least two times funny. It, the oh, worst yeah. every two time. Times funny. It exponentially, exponentially gets funnier. Gets funnier. It's when you just won't let it lie. You just won't let it go. You just keep fucking. <laughs> it's like like you know flogging a dead horse. Just continue, like, that's when you beat a horse with a stick. Now I've explained that that's two times funnier. Yeah, yeah. It gets exponentially funnier. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I like to do that where it gets, it's so unfunny, it becomes kind of funny again. Yeah. And then gets like unfunny you. again. And then dramatically becomes unfunny again. Yeah, that's literally my life. <laughs> um... So yes, Dungeons and Dragons. We played D and D last we uh, last weekend. We played, with that we, difference. We played, yeah, we played a few days ago, and we're playing in a few days. Yes, yeah, so I'm not this used so to this. Exciting. I'm Thank so you. excited. I can't wait. So we'll all remember the rules in between sessions. I know. <laughs> yeah. So when we last left our heroes, we uh, were on the way to get some trolls' blood. Yes, some trolls' blood. And, and we encountered a few things along the way. We did. We did some bugbear, bugbear ambush, and some gnolls. Which we made short work of. No, we didn't really. It was kind of tough. Is that a dwarf joke again? <laughs> I've stopped saying that because you called my character out for being a quote-unquote racist. <laughs> did I? Yes! You fucking did! Because I, I, like, I turned around and was like, oh yeah, Johnny's got the short stick here. And you went, okay, look, I am going to start calling you out on this racism. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not being racist! Oh my god, am I being racist? I, I had like a fucking existential crisis. <laughs> And I've just, I, you, if you'll have noticed, since you said that, I've not made one short joke. No, oh I'm sorry, but also you're welcome. <laughs> no, no, that's true. I mean, no, the thing is, like, my character is not a racist. It was. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm not. I'm going to stop because I'm digging a hole. You are digging a I hole. I apologise. I'm digging a hole character. that Johnny couldn't get out of. Oh, fucking Christ. Because <laughs> he's a dwarf, you see. I'm not saying a word. So we went to get troll blood from the trolls for the ritual my character wants to do. Yes. So we... Um, oh, yeah, at least thinks he wants to do. Wow, well, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, th- th- he's basically pinned all of his hopes on this one ritual, so... Which I'm not going to say why. Yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, we managed to... Uh, we found, like, a clearing where there was a couple of trolls. Yeah, and now if you know anything about trolls, you know a level four party does not want to fucking deal with that shit. Because there was two of them. There was fucking yeah, two you, of them. Yeah, you did... I think one of you did a... Some sort of internet check and found... And sort of was like, yeah, from what we've read about trolls, we're not going to be able to fight two of them. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they're big fucking scary And I was sitting anyway. there going, please don't try and fight them both. Please don't try and fight them well, both. Well, luckily for you, Nathan is a massive... Well, he's not a coward. He's just got some serious aversions to actual fighting. So, like, Talus and I, the rogue, because she's got, um... She's like... What's that what's the thing she's got? She's got, like, arcane abilities. Yeah. And we, we were trying to figure out, like, okay, is there a way we could telepathically get them to, like, murder each other or something? Because, you know, awakened mind with warlocks, like, I can project my thoughts into... If, if a creature can understand the language, I can project my thoughts into their brain. Which Talus could do something similar, but... but... it had to be in common, so yeah, it's like, we so... don't... That's going to be really weird if suddenly it's like, you should fight these... It's like, imagine if you're just sitting there talking to your mate and you just hear screaming German in your brain. <laughs> You're going to think something's up. Yeah, probably. You're probably going to think something's up. I mean, maybe. So. Unless maybe, you are German. Unless then. you are German. Well, no, it's like if you're speaking English or whatever. <laughs> As I say, you're, if, so, if, if a non native language starts screaming in your brain that you don't speak, you'd be like, what the f? Okay, that's probably not right. Okay, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for, for hanging me up on semantics there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nathan, like, st- like starts convincing one of them that the other guy the, the other troll is trying to steal all the food and we're like we're kind of like hiding behind like this this cl- like these, these bunch of rocks this way please kill each other it'd be really cool they don't they have like a big big argument and then one of them just storms off at which point because yeah. uh, like I think Talus and I were up front having a look and you and Soro at the back uh, if I remember rightly, um, Talus and me being the uh, melee uh, characters had, cut, had, got, had gone a little bit further forward. No, I, I had to be within like I had to be in like line of sight in order to 
do that. So yeah, I'm you were sure sort of you guys were peeking out over the. Uh, you all four of you were behind this rock. And yeah, like you yeah. were you were sort of peeking over the top. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, because we, we moved yeah. forward yeah. afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Nathan rolled like a one on his perception when he peeked around, so it's like I don't <laughs> even believe he looked over the wall. He's just like, well, I can't see shit. It's like, yeah, because and he was standing like, like his nose was touching a tree, <laughs> and he was just like, I can't see anything. It's like, guys, guys, <laughs> I cannot see the wood for this tree. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so angry that I didn't think of that. <laughs> but yeah, so the the other troll, troll number two, decides to like storm off because he's just he's fed up of his mate. He's just being accusatory out of nowhere, so he storms off. I was like, you and Sora roll stealth and get two each. Yeah, yeah. So he's, yeah, the troll starts storming off, but he has to get out of where they are. He has to basically go past the rock you're hiding behind. Yeah, in essence. So he starts turning up towards you guys, and I was like, right, okay, all of you roll stealth. Nathan did surprisingly well, considering he got minus one to Dex and is just a shitty roller. Yeah, I think, and and Talus being, you know, she's got like. To be fair, she rolls a stealth. She has like fifteen bonus points. Yeah. She adds on before she even has to add her die roll. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, you guys just got two. And it was like... you, yeah, you only. T- I think, t- yeah, two of you got a two, and then one of you got 20 something. Oh, Probably yeah, Talis. it was Talus got 20 something. And then you got a 13. Okay. And how these checks work with group checks is like if half of you sort of. If half of you pass it, like, you do enough to, like, as a group to be okay. <laughs> and, yeah, the trolls passed in perceptions at 11, and you got a 13, so <laughs> you just. <laughs> That could have gone very badly for us. I seriously, I had my dice clutched in my hand, and I was like an inch off, just making like bird noises. I was gonna like, I roll the shout bird noises. <laughs> so he thinks that I'm a bird. I was honest, I was panicking. I didn't know what else to do because fuck off. Do I want to fight one of these things, let alone two? <laughs> so, so yeah, the 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 troll that walk I manages to you know walks off. Yeah, he fucks off. Thank God. Thank God, and we're left with just one left. He sat there scratching his gooch up the fire. Um, yeah. And so uh, Talus and I get in position because obviously we've got to be moving a bit closer. into flank. And move, and we we go into flank, um, and I charge in screaming. No, 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 no! I don't think that's how that went at all. If memory serves, actually, <laughs> you 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 ran out from behind the the rock we were at into the bush to kind of get closer, and rolled a two. Oh yeah, I forgot about tripping that. over every foot you have and pretty much every axe you have clambered to your little body. Uh, yes, that, that I forgot. I forgot entirely about yeah, my I, I my thought, bush. I thought I'd roll. remind you. I thought I'd remind you. The troll is like, the fuck was that? So he starts like storming up to you, to where you you're hiding. Yeah. And because I've been playing so much Sniper Elite lately, I was like, I rolled to throw a rock behind the troll and distract him. It fucking does nothing, of course. Yeah, well, you, you threw it into sand. I should have hit him in the face. I should have <laughs> thrown a rock, rock at him. There was the... a big, next to the sand, there was a big, there was another big rock. <sighs> I didn't <laughs> I mean to. Just throw it rock and it will go, like, make a noise. <laughs> yeah, well, it just didn't, you didn't tell me it landed in sand, you dick. I did. I don't think so. No, no, I definitely did. I mean, okay, okay. Sand is small rocks. Yes. Small, it should have made a rocks. rock. No, no, not small, quiet rocks. It is. It's like a carpet made of little rocks. Sorry, I, I am now no longer going to be able to walk on like a sandy beach <laughs> and not go. Oh, these are small, quiet rocks. <laughs> well, look at when we went to Southport and I was walking around on those large, noisy rocks. South Sea. Southport, South Sea. Port, South it's Sea, a port. which is off there's a, Portsmouth. There's, there's a port there. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Don't give, don't give much of a shit. Their sand was too large, quite frankly. It's just the height of it's the, a monument to man's arrogance. The sand there was very large. Some would call it pebbles. No, that's large. <laughs> Technically, it's large sand. Technically, like Ayers Rock is large sand. Technically, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I love when I make you go technically through like gritted teeth. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that didn't work. So Johnny. Like, what, what did Johnny do exactly? I ran at him. Yeah. And I hit him with my axe, which is my solution to everything. Because no, you, my favourite part barbarian. was where you kind of went, fuck it, I run at him screaming in incoherent dwarven curses. <laughs> and we're all like, well, I guess we're moving now. Thanks. Because, um, well, he was going to get close to you pair and, well... Oh, we were fine. You and Sora being the squishy magic users. Oh, I'm so strong. So combat begins. 
I, you know, I, I go into a... Um, you pop I, a rage bone. I go into my rage um, as a berserker. So I, I have, like, damage reduction and, and um, damage increase. Um, Talus goes up behind and starts yep. trying to shank him. Start flanking... Attack of opportunity, because, you know... So, yeah, combat's going down. Um... We're, we're pelting him with, like, spells. I think I use I use Dissonant Whispers, because that's my favourite trick when you guys are flanking. Yeah. Dissonant Whispers is a psychic scream that makes the target run screaming as far as they, their movement speed will allow in the opposite direction, away from me. Uh, which means that they break combat, and anyone who's in like immediate combat with them to get attack from opportunity it's a really fun trick i always miss those though you do you fucking every worthless. single time i get an attack of opportunity <laughs> i always roll badly one day you're gonna do that like it's gonna happen and you're gonna you're gonna crit so hard and just kill like the big boss in one swing and all of us are gonna get massive yeah. combat blue balls you see one day that'll happen you see the problem was though that he the, the troll ran away. He got really offended by the fact that I screamed in his brain. Yeah. He didn't like it. But then the turn after he ran back and the person who was closest to him at that point then was not me, the one no. who can take hits from a troll. No. It was Talus. Yes. Who does not have much HP. She's a squishy little rogue. And how what so how he, he had, flattened her. He, has, he Hulk smashed her, double fisted her into the fucking sand until it was just her head popping out. I think he bit her too. He bit her as well. But to be fair, I think she would have been dead without Yeah, that. and that was just all HP gone. Yeah, one, just one round. Bam. Just one go, yeah. One just hit, down. she's fucking down. Um So we all immediately like start panicking, like, oh no. Oh god. Oh shit. And Ash who plays Talus is like I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, because like, there's only we've only had two unconscious like, like, since we started playing, which is Ash both times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got like, oh, what are they called? A spectator? Yeah, the the mini the, beholder. The, the baby beholders basically turned around and like just blew a hole in her, <laughs> like down, knocked her down the stairs. Yeah. So I um, I go to like because um, my rage I can go into a more angry rage uh, which you can, is a uh, frenzy get double rage uh, which i which i then use my last rage of the day to do which um, is kind of dangerous it was de- it, well yeah because then i have a point of exhaustion afterwards but i we were probably not going to have much to do after yeah, that yeah. in that day so you know i was willing to take that risk and also if we have a cat if we're facing an enemy that can one shot anyone who isn't me well to be fair <laughs> can you imagine like what it would have done if it gotten to sora or myself Oh yeah, we would have been mm. straight fucking dead. Y- Just y- we would like no death saving. Th- no, you are fucking jelly. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you are dead. Your family is dead. Everyone you ever met hard. is fucking dead. <laughs> Your ancestors are somehow feeling it from the dead. Um, and and so yeah, you know we know serious game face on. So yeah. I, if if I remember rightly, um, Sora fight like th- does her acid arrow thing. She's throwing. Which is really clever. She's throwing fire and acid at it pretty much every round. Which is exactly what you need to do to trolls. Because they regenerate hit points like a motherfucker. I, I honestly, I was told this prior to the encounter. But I didn't want to metagame too hard. Yeah, <laughs> I, I had no idea about this. I did, but I thought yeah, it's going to be more fun if no good. one knows it. <laughs> yeah, I think you, you did um, various, like nature checks and checks to see what you knew about trolls and you knew a bit but you didn't know specifics well uh, my character doesn't know about fire so yes yeah that and it's like i only have one fire spell which is my fire necklace and i have four out of six gems on those and i really should be start starting to conserve those yeah so yeah at least at least the use of acid arrow and things like that meant that it wouldn't regain the points yeah because it can yeah, come which... back from the dead doing that can't it man it can it can yeah, yeah it's, it gets 10 hit points back, just from the mechanics point of view, 10 hit points back at the start of its turns, unless yeah, it was hit by acid or fire in the previous round, or something like that. And yeah, it didn't It didn't have a single turn where it could regenerate. Like you, Someone hit it with fire or acid every single turn. <laughs> yeah, we, we locked out pretty hard. We did well. Including the turn, if, it, if, it's, de- if it's dead, if it's on zero, it can still, it still regenerates 10. Jesus. But fortunately, so yeah, he was, he, I think if if I remember correctly, he had a huge acid wound in his chest that like melted a hole in it. It did, yeah. Um, which I think I I got the final blow by striking yeah. it in its acid wound. <laughs> yeah, you did. It was pretty fucking grim, but um, good. 
very cathartic because yeah. fuck that thing. And then you you ran over. I and... bolted over because I'm I'm I'm, prof- I'm proficient in first aid, so I'm like, ah! <laughs> I stabilize her super quick because I'm a big, strong, healthy boy. Um, and I uh, I rip a tooth out of the. No, well, I attempt to. You and tried kind of to rip it, a but... tooth out and you just splintered it. So then you you hacked out a tusk, <laughs> and that was fine. Um, as a as a souvenir, which I later gave to Talus because. Um, she didn't wake up until after our long rest. She yeah, was fucked. Um, because it, this seems to be a thing now. Um, whenever Talus gets downed, like because she took, you got her. You, you. I don't think it was. I think it, she like, took a tooth from the spectator, didn't she? Yeah. So it it kind of made sense to give her a souvenir again of her cake <laughs> getting like knocked down. Tooth of the troll that bit you, I guess. So uh, what's probably going to happen by the end of it, like... She's going to be over-encumbered with the amount of trophies. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's got, she's got a bag of holding, just took yeah. her Well, no, yeah. she... Ooh, I still haven't told her that I'm keeping that severed arm in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Whoops! So we, so we needed <laughs> okay, to get... Okay, I can explain. So we needed to get the troll's blood um, back to town, and we realised that we hadn't actually come up with a plan of how to get tr- the blood out of it and transport it. We didn't it. have any vials or anything. I mean, my idea was just to pour it all into a bag of holding, that's, which we've taken dude, to calling gross. the hole. We, yeah, the <laughs> hole. Like, oh, where are the sandwiches? They're in the hole. <laughs> Put it in the hole. <laughs> I thought it was decided that was probably a bad idea or something because even the though that's sandwiches not, in there, even though that's not how a bag of holding works, it, it's still gross. It's probably not a good idea to just fill it to the brim full of blood. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. So yeah, Nathan, being the clever boy he is, decides to just hack off an arm and cauterize it with his blood because his blood is like super spicy. <laughs> your your whole warlock. Edge Lord things. Yeah, yeah, Edge Lord things. <laughs> I'm joking. You know I worry about this shit. Why are you mocking me for my genuine insecurities, you fucking dick? Because <laughs> they're the ones that the funniest. They're the ones that hurt the most. <laughs> no, and my no, pain it's cool. is hilarious. No, I mean it was it was a good idea to to get the yeah so to, like, to I keep got, like, a, a make him his own repository of blood. Yeah, well, I mean it's not going to go anywhere, and like the the hole is pretty cold, so. Yeah. And there's not, there's like, you, you get like 10 minutes of air in there, I think, is in the book. So it's like, it's going to be fine on the way back to town. Yeah. It's like, if it's good enough for the sandwiches, it's good enough for an arm. But yeah, yeah. Talus <laughs> didn't know. I that s- sentence is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's good enough for sandwiches, it's good enough for the arm. It, it is, it is. But yeah, like Talus, <laughs> like, because it's like Nathan, like, like Nathan carries it back. Like, we, we all kind of go back and we, we set up camp because it's like a good 20, 20 or so miles out from town. So we decide to actually set up camp, which is the first big, big camp I think we've ever had. Yeah, I think we so. We had like set on watch. So, because Nathan needs a short rest to get his spells back, he took like both watches, like morning and like, like, uh, night and evening, and you guys had like a yeah. good sleep. So you, you had to take like a point of exhaustion. Yeah, which is not something to fuck around with and that I'm a bit nervous about. But it's fine. And exhaustion's fine for like one point. It's yeah. just once you start getting a couple of them, it can really mm-hmm. fuck you over. Yeah. But no, Talus wakes up. I, I'm going to have to tell her about the fucking arm I put in the hole. Because her, her accordion's in there. Yeah. She's not going to be happy with me. <laughs> She's like, Nathan, why is there an arm in the hole? Like, well... <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds so dodgy. <laughs> Fortunately, we managed to get back uh, after that camp. We managed to get back to the local like town <laughs> like, and you unmolested. Guys, yes, and you guys wouldn't stop fucking... Okay, these guys were teasing me ruthlessly. Because Nathan is fucking done. He's like, a f- he's seen a friend like being really savagely beaten. He's seen, he's seen two of his friends be savagely beaten. He's exhausted. It's been an emotional rollercoaster. So he goes into the, the, the barmaid... The, the owner of the inn, like like Nimrin, he slaps down like a couple of gold pieces, looks it dead in the eye and goes, fuck me up. And everyone starts laughing and they were like, we didn't think you'd add the word up. <laughs> and I'm just like, you, oh my fucking God, I can't take these people anywhere. Even like the fucking, the, the sarcastic voice in the sky who tells me that what I'm doing is stupid is still laughing at me. <laughs> it's like, just give me ale. I want to get fucking wankered. I need ale. So yeah, we have we have a bit of a, a relaxing night in the inn. Uh, I think it, the, it, a sarcastic think... voice in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's that's kind of how I view you. It's like, and then Nathan did something really fucking dumb, and he's just like, <laughs> mate, I'm trying my best here. 
but yeah, we we just like like what's it like Sora because she doesn't usually drink and she drinks like a whole bottle of wine and she's like immediately falls asleep. Yeah, because she's like such a nerd. She's adorable. So we have a bit of a night uh, a night in the inn. Oh um, yeah. I play a song for everyone, which I think was the devil went down to Wyport. Is what which I said is it was. Which is yeah, where we're fighting, where, where we're playing, like the um, the setting, uh, the place is called Wyport. That's the local big town. That's the yeah. local big town, yeah. Well, <clears throat> equivalent of a city, I guess. Um, and then we went and set out for the other ingredient, which is yes. Umberhulk saliva. Umberhulk saliva, and people are probably laughing because those things are probably going to be even harder to deal with than the you fucking see, trolls. After they were mentioned as being an ingredient, I happened to because I don't look up anything. No, I, I, I avoid that. But question. I happened to, on my travels around the internet... I happened to just Google, how no, no. do I kill Umberhold? I, st- <laughs> I stumbled across a company that one of the miniatures they happened to make was an Umberhulk. Ooh. And so I saw what they were and I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we are, we are fucked. So, you know, suitably prepared... Um, you know, we go to the mountains where they are, and I, I kind of. You're a mountain dwarf, so you, yeah. you've heard you've heard rumblings. You know, you know more about these things than we do. So, so. I say, you know, they they burrow deep. They are Very worrying. Solitary. There's a lot of legends about them in, like, you know, the dwarven mines and things. And okay, so <laughs> I'm going to give a little bit of backstory here. So I've realised that um, my character Johnny um, has a problem. And it's is not it Nathan. And it's not Nathan. Because I think it might be. And it's not his problem with doors, although that is an issue. That is that is a bit of a problem with. <laughs> he just hates doors. So, I managed to trace this back, and what I'm going to say is that Johnny occasionally is possessed by the spirit of a character called Brick. <laughs> ah, Brick. Now what, I know all about Brick. What I mean by this is that many moons ago, when we were playing through uh, a, a game of Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> um, I played a character. Um, what was his name? Actually, Peter Dinklage. It was Peter Dunn- Dunwich. Peter Dunwich. Yeah, I like. Car- I like referring to him internally <laughs> as Peter Dinklage. Yeah. Um, but he was. He was a journalist, and he was quite timid. And um, the whole point of him was that he was. He'd seen some shit in his past, so he was a little bit. He was a bit skittish. A, a bit skittish and a bit nervous about everything. Really. Um, now. The problem was that in the group that we were in, it meant that occasionally things kind of ground to a halt a little bit and we needed someone to kind of go, okay, guys, let's just go and do the thing. Speaking as the DM, Drama Butt, I completely understand your pain. (laughs) Because our group is very not really wanting to do much. So I was playing a character that could not take control like that because... Thematically, that wasn't what the character it, was. Yeah, it was so I, I made uh, I made the decision that if we were to play again, I was going to try and make a big dumb character whose entire function was going to be aside of being a character who can not have to worry about things. He's stupid. He doesn't understand what he's he's a part of. So whenever it's required for someone to go and stupidly walk into something, that was his job. And I was going to call him Brick. It's a good name. <laughs> Good because name. he was going to be big and dumb and stupid. Yeah, um, I guess the closest thing to a tank build you yeah. could get in Call of yeah, Cthulhu, basically. which is just not a thing. No, not really a thing, but you know that's what the character will be designed but around. Because yeah, our group tends to just sit down, sit, sit around, just going, "What do we do? Ah, okay, we could do this," and then we never really get anything done. Yeah, we, we um, do need a driving force occasionally, and that's one of the reasons why I was happy to play a barbarian when, yeah. we, when we got to D and D. Like, okay, so I can basically, you know, if need, I could do that. Now the things I don't really need to do that role because I think we've all become a bit more comfortable with, yeah, with things. So. It's not. It's nowhere near as bad, so I don't need to. But occasionally, I am possessed by the spirit of brick, and I go forward and do things without checking. <laughs> Is this like when you? Uh, I think it was in our preliminary game to kind of see if we liked our characters or classes, or if there's anything we wanted yeah. to change. Where we went into a cave, and your exact words were, "I go balls deep into that fucking cave," and you got an arrow in your throat. Yeah, yeah. So there's a. Uh, we get get to a mine um, <coughs> that's been boarded up. Yeah, and there's a little gap that we can just get through, and I am then overwhelmed by the spirit of brick. Yeah, and rather than look through the hole, which is what a normal yeah. sane person yeah. no, would no, no. do. To be fair, I did say you could probably go through it. I didn't specify that you could look through it. I just assumed that you would assume. Especially, yeah. you know, dwarves have night vision, so yeah. 
you'd look, think. Look, I am taking this entirely on the chin. <laughs> and what I do, I think be, like the combination of, of the spirit of brick and the fact that every time I try and chop down a door or anything, it always fails. <laughs> I was buoyed by having killed the troll. So I was like, fuck it, I'm going to smash down this fucking thing that's in the way so everyone can get through and... No one you will have to duck. You, Johnny didn't really tell us this. He just started fucking smashing the door in. And we were so, like, what the fuck are you doing? Do- it's not a door. It was okay, it was, like, it was like, okay, so Johnny, with no provocation, just fucking looses his axe and starts just fucking going ham on these fucking planks. And we're just like, fucking excuse you. Yeah. What? <laughs> so, as soon as I do this, which I do succeed for once, I do I succeed in knocking down something that is blocking an aperture. This once. This once. Um, (laughs) Then I just hear footsteps running towards me. Like drumming footsteps. It turns out there was how many goblins in that cave? Ten or twelve. Twelve, Twelve, yeah. So There was a fuck ton of goblins in that cave, and Johnny basically just shoved his dick through the letterbox. And the only person in the hallway leading into it was now me. Yes. So... What proceeded to happen was a fight where it was it was literally just for the first like half of it we were just trying to position ourselves so we could actually hurt them. Yeah, um, which meant like, oh, that, excuse me, oh, coming through. Ah. Which meant that throughout the whole fight, every single point of damage, every single one, yeah, I took. I took an entire party's worth of damage on myself. I think I was from twelve goblins. I think I was down to like. You had 16 health, which, which I've got which like... Which for you is fucking I've got nothing. like 42 health, yeah. so... Um, yeah. They were just goblins, but I took every single fucking yeah. hit point of damage. Um, however, um, there was a couple of highlights of what happened in that fight. Like, I killed like four of them in one. You did. Cause which you, was amazing. What did you do? I, I kind of I kind of smushed up behind you, because I'm not getting in front of you. You can fuck off. <laughs> that, that's your business. <laughs> <laughs> just point you in the direction and yeah. you go swinging. Uh, there was a bunch of goblins in this mine towards the, uh, I'd say, like, the south, kind of, east area uh, that was within fixed 60 feet, and they were kind of, like, around this fire. So I cast Shatter, which is ball-achingly awesome. <laughs> I love Shatter. It's so awesome. Uh, what that does is you basically, you point at a place, and screaming erupts from it, and it just explodes everything, and it does a lot of damage, and, like... Like like furniture and stuff has to take like constitution saves and you know, otherwise it gets splintered and shit like that. It's yeah. just very dramatic, very cool. And I do it on the fire, and I hit I I can hit all of them within a certain radius. So I'm just like yes, let them burn. And then what's it? Ash turns around and goes, wouldn't uh wouldn't the fire be kicked up and to set them on fire? And you you said something really fucking sassy. <laughs> I think it was like, wasn't it like. Well, you know, it probably would if someone wasn't telling me how to do my job. Yeah, that was it. And then we were all like, okay, <laughs> right. Which was you channeling Sora for a moment there of being unintentionally incredibly harsh. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, I mean, sorry. Yeah, it would, it would do damage. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, yeah there, there was like a pause in the, in the drama. I was like, actually, no, you're right. I'm sorry. Um, that was unneedlessly mean. So, fortunately, um, it's probably the only thing that stopped me from getting downed there by my stupid decision it was that you took out like a third of the part of I the did. enemy like it's in because one my turn. dick is huge I'm my not... balls like I, I couldn't quite fit them in the small hole you like nailed to I be had fair to switch them all in to be fair I, I i felt a little bit cooler okay no what you did was horrible so i know what you're talking about yeah. and fucking christ so what happens is um because obviously i just attracted all of them and they, they start hurling shit at me. One of them runs around the corner, takes a swipe at me, and then runs away again. He disengages. And yeah. disengages. And yeah, I... S- and goblins are sneaky bastards. They are. They and are. so... do that. <laughs> and so kind of role-playing with this, I'm like, okay, look, what I do in this situation, what Johnny would do is... I mean, aside from the fact that, that yes, he's going to activate his rage because he's just had someone happy slap him and fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good word for it, yeah. Um, I charge after the guy that did it, and I think I roll a crit. So I ju- so and, and so you just say, yeah, you just run up and just straight up behead him. Yeah. And there's like there's like three goblins like in front of you. You behead the one in the center. Um, and then I turn to the one that's nearest to me, who just had his shield just 
evaporated just, it's, it's by basically one of, was like belted out of his hands like by one of Sora's spells yeah and I turn to him point at him and wink <laughs> you, you smash that intimidation roll and as then well. yeah and then get and then I can't remember what I roll on my intimidation roll it was roll, fucking good though but it was, it was, I think cause I get a bit of bonus for it I think it might have been over 20 because of it <laughs> yeah it was it was it was high so you have the uh, so so this this goblin just legs it. No, he he drops everything and just fucking runs and goes and hides behind a minecart. And he's just cowering. He's, <laughs> he's he doesn't want to fight. He's not doing anything. He's just literally just covering his head and cowering because you're a fucking monster. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even got to, like, the worst part. Well, okay, so the, the rest of the combat goes down and we, we get rid of the other goblins. I don't yeah, think I, kill, I killed four of them. Well, no. I killed, like, three of them at once, instantly, with, like, fire and just fucking shrapnel. And then one of them slowly burned to death. <laughs> but what you did was so much worse. So I ran up the, the, behind the cart that he was hiding behind, ram into it... At full you speed. You don't even push it. You literally just fucking throw yourself shoulder first into yeah. this fucking car. Uh, while screaming, here's Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, meaning that the cart... This was when he was the last one left. I think yeah. he'd taken care of everyone else. It was just this one cowering dude left. And he was like... I was like, leave one alive. I want... To, we need to ask questions. No, Captain fucking Rage... Boner over here has got an eye. In idea. fairness, I didn't know it'd do quite what it did. I, I assumed it had hurt him. Well, it hurt him. So the cart gets pushed along, and okay, no, it doesn't get pushed along. Okay, you I... explode into it like a fucking cannonball of screaming bloody rage, firing the fucking like what hundred pounds of solid fucking iron on wheels. Over the poor little fucking goblin, so hard it smashes into the fucking boarded up tunnel, making all the fucking dust and shit like pour out. You look down, the goblin is in three fucking pieces. <laughs> Just fucking, you've com- you've com- you've cut him in three. You fucking monster. I think after that, I, I looked down at the pieces and was like, I said I get you. You did, and it was fucking terrifying. <laughs> Why are we adventuring with you? You're a sociopath. <laughs> In fairness, I'd just taken like three quarters of my health bar. Yeah, that's the, and, I, gone, and that's the most I've ever been down. To be so. fair, and that's, that's yeah. three quarters, considering that all the damage you got was, was reduced half. by half anyway. Yeah, yeah, so you would have been dead so hard. Yeah, and that was, and my health is like nearly double everyone else's health anyway. Yeah. Well, it's, so, it's over yeah. double mine. What's your health? I think it's, t- it's 24. Oh, no, I'm, I'm like 42, I think. Okay, so. then I'm super strong and better than you. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's where our session ended, and we've got another one. Um... <laughs> I feel really bad for us characters just kind of sitting around the campfire, just kind of like no one wants to really mention it to Johnny, because he's still like... Because Nathan learned pretty quick not to talk to Johnny immediately after he's popped a rage. Because he's... You don't want to do that. You don't want to talk to him when he's, like... You don't especially don't want to sass him. As long as he's still drooling. It's probably not worth... <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's just, like... Look, he's he's basically, like... I can't remember what it was, but... Oh, it was, it was the, um... The captain of, like, those guys we went into that uh, old church. Oh, yeah. And you basically just cut him in fucking half. And Nathan bumps Sora and goes, he must have imagined he was a door. And he kind of like turns around and points at Nathan with his axe and goes, don't. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. I mean, so I'm not, you've, not, you, you've not said anything after that since, like, since no. I know you <laughs> Nathan's like, he's like, Nathan's going to play it cool, but he doesn't, he doesn't want to fucking deal with that shit. He's going to get his fucking legs cut off. I mean, all I'll say is that Johnny does have two hand axes. Now, granted, he's he never hit with everything. He has never hit a single thing with them, <laughs> yeah. even when he gave one to you. I d- I couldn't hit something. Couldn't with hit them. anything with them. I think my hand axes are cursed. I honestly. think they are. Yeah. Um, but he'll still throw one at you. Oh, Actually, no. if anything, the fact that he knows it'll miss is probably going to mean that he's more <laughs> he's likely get... to do it. Just okay. Okay. So you you're wondering why my character doesn't really want to like talk to you immediately after you've gotten angry. The only amount of like friendly fire ever committed is by your character to mine. I can't remember what you did. I said something stupid. And oh, yeah, you decided like, oh, yeah. to fucking douche me with like a geezer of like 400 litres of water. Yeah. And I crack my head on the fucking stone floor of the crypt, you prick. It's pretty funny though. No, what? I could have gotten a concussion. It was dangerous. 
And that, that was the that was the fucking session where you you swung to hit so many times and you missed every single shot. Oh yeah, you missed everything. Yeah. You got something stuck in a door because of course you did. But and the only point of damage you did in the entire session was to me. Oh yeah, yeah that was a good that was a good session. Yeah. That's when we broke the because um, like drama had this cool like elaborate water thing set up and we immediately just solved it because we had the the, the flask of never ending water. Yeah, we just immediately like broke it and was like immediately the solved. The canter of endless water. That's the one. Yeah. yeah. So the what the one that you cracked me with, you prick. Yeah. And then but, you were like, Nathan, why are you so pissed off? And he's like, the fuck do you think? And he's like, wringing out his hair. <laughs> like, fuck you, man. Uh, but yeah, so we've uh, we've got another session um, in a couple of days. Yeah. So we'll wrap up. Hopefully we'll we'll deal with the whole on the Hulk situation. Horribly. And um, yeah. then we'll be ready. I mean, I... We're having a one-off kind of like Christmas special, I think. Hopefully that'll still be all fine with us doing the whole house moving shit. Well, I mean, we've got our nice big gaming table that we'll actually be able to have up now. That's true. So yeah. we can all like just hang out at the hours. That can be like a housewarming thing. A housewarming D&D. That could be a thing. That'd be super cool. I'll get some yeah. mulled wine in. <laughs> I'm addicted to that shit now. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, that's D&D for this, uh, yeah. for this episode. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we should um... be sure to write in about how much better my character is than than Wibbs because you know my character hasn't done any, any damage to uh, to any friendlies. In fact, he's he's actively healed them because he's he's got a big, big swollen aortic like set of pumps. I know you killed that deer. Oh god, <laughs> I didn't kill. No, I did. Oh wait, no, did I? Have I blanked that from my memory? I know I, I was desperate. You, to You say brought that it deer. back to life, but you you were, you were the one that actually ended its life to begin with. Oh yeah, because I tried to remove the arrow and I and it's like I ended up killing it. Yeah. And then I was like, <gasps> I'm trying to give mouth to mouth and shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I, it came back. I mean, it, it had seen the other side and it had seen that there was nothing. <laughs> but I brought it back. Yeah. You gave it an existential crisis. It was young. It's probably and a, forgotten uh, and by a now. wound that will never heal, both externally and internally. <sighs> Anyway, we should go on to those questions that sometimes people send to us via email. Yeah. Anything to take my mind off that poor dear. Although, bef- before we do, I, I do have um, a correspondence that we received rather than you getting that. Ah, oh, rude. I know, right? <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't... We've, don't worry, we've blocked them and reported them to the local police. <laughs> no, it wasn't for the podcast, but I really feel the need to read it out. Okay, okay. So this person sent a message to our Facebook, and I'll be getting back to them later today to answer their actual query. But there was a part of it that I felt I thought I should read to you, and I thought it would be nice to read in front of everyone else. Yeah, it's actually very lovely. Um, so you know, they did a you know a thank you for the stuff you put out there, and which is very appreciative of. But they also said, um, where is it? You know, um, feels like you really care, and you have a lot of fun whilst doing so. Also, that drummer Matt guy who is filling in when the Remleys dude can't make it to the podcast is quite entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Would like to see slash hear more of him. <laughs> so yeah, you know, when you're filling in for Remlays, which is apparently all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like all those I mean what, there were forty three now and I think you, you started on episode eight. So okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think you've I think you've missed I think there's ten episodes that don't have you in. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it in total. And they the, don't have Remlays either. So the other the other thirty three um, that you've you've been filling in for Rems, by the way. Yeah, that's how it's. <laughs> yeah, no, as long as I've been doing an all right job filling in, that's fine. Well, I like it's like, yeah, he's he's a, he's an okay guy. I you're, guess I could be okay with hearing more of him. You're our permanent part time. Um, <laughs> you're our zero hour contract um, <laughs> podcast guest. <laughs> oh, God. oh, that's grim. Anyway, probably move I on to right. questions. I'm, 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 I'm doing I'm doing it for the experience. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't pay you, but like, I'll give you a shout out on my uh, my YouTube channel. <laughs> Yeah. Not the main one. No, 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 do that, no. <laughs> On this other one that I've got, my secret YouTube channel that no one knows about. So, um, I'll give you a shout out on Google Plus. <laughs> <laughs> so, did we get any questions, Matt? Yes, we have. Okay, a few. cool. If you wish to send a question in for us to answer on the podcast, which we will, uh, just send us an email to onlydrummermat at snipeandweb at gmail dot com. Every time I hear it, it gets <laughs> stupider. There's a link in the description. Yeah. Don't worry about it. There has to be. <laughs> there has, there to, has be. to be. <laughs> so what did people ask, Matthew? Okay, so we've got mostly... There's no D&D questions this week, I don't really? think. Really? Oh, guys. Um, 
quite a lot of them are forty k related. Oh, okay, okay, that's so, fine. So, um, what have we got? This is where um, everyone finds out that we're fake. Yes, no, yeah. Vulcan. <laughs> there we go. There's my <laughs> yeah. answers. So, um, Yaman Taka, the conqueror of death. Oh, cool. Um, asks um, where they can find the backstories for your guys' chapter master characters, and whether you'd want to um, tell about your space marine characters' backstories on the podcast. Oh. Um, mine doesn't really have one. Mine, I, I can't remember. I think his name is the Marquis. He, yeah. he like he wrote mine, like, and it's it's fan fucking tastic. There's uh, there is a snipe and web chapter wikia that is linked. I believe on the YouTube um, page. There's one of the links on the top bar. I think links mm, to it. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Carnal Archivists. Yeah, is the, the name we settled on. And the we've sort of taken the a very successes of the Raven Guard. Yes, uh, we've taken a bit of a um, we t- we did not have much to do with the creation of we've, the law. We've been very hands off because it's like it's it's just fun to see what everyone writes and, yeah. and kind of because everyone's got their own kind of original character in there as well. And so, everyone everyone is a captain. Literally, everyone is a captain. Which started out as Apart a way of as a way of just shifting blame. There is a hierarchy of of things, but whenever someone like the Inquisition comes in, he goes, "Who's responsible for this?" They all go, "The captain." And then they, they go, "Who's the captain?" And everyone points to each other. Yeah, that's <laughs> literally what that's captain. for. <laughs> that that's a piece of uh, law from us, I think. Yeah, I think I, oh no, so I think someone brought that up, okay. and, and that's that sort of stuck. It's also why the um, the versions of that people have drawn or have um like i've painted a couple have got a white stripe down the center of the captain. head because that's the old veteran captain mm-hmm. mark from rogue trader yeah so i included that um, to mark out that they are all technically captains um, <laughs> um but yeah my character does not actually have much law other than they're a librarian well, he's a librarian who's fed up of everyone yeah which is just me whereas i've got right. this, this great backstory is like i was a sister of battle and then I, th- I can't remember, it's been a while since I've read it, but it is really good. Um, and I just go, I think I get kicked out of the sisters, and I'm just like really depressed, so I go to Fenris to commit suicide. And, well, I, I go to Fenris so that like the planet will kill me, and I go to kill a wolf, but it's like sick and I feel really bad. And and then like I help him out, and he's he's Mr. Fluffles, <laughs> the Procnir, I think is his name, and I love it. I'm just like, yay, I got a Fenrisian wolf, but he's my puppy and he's so good. And then yeah, I don't know how I get to like the Cardinal Archivists, but... Damn, that's a good read. Yeah. Oh, that's that was good. I'm gonna go read it again now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, and I think that's why I have such a link to Fenris because my 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 um couple of my original characters, please don't steal, like Luca, mm. my uh, my space wolf puppy. Like he like he he pops over. I think like he fights he fights with the the other chapter dreadnought. Yeah. <laughs> just like play fighting, of course. And just <laughs> we have a Fenrisi and wolf petting zoo. Uh, In case you can't tell, this is not a very serious chapter. Oh, no, this is completely law serious, and if you have a problem with it, then you're a fake 40k fan, honestly. I like the idea... Also, we we import a lot of uh, beer from the Space Walls. (laughs) (laughs) I do like that, um, because we we haven't done anything outwardly outrageous with how the Marines look, you can totally paint one up, Mm -hmm. and them not look out of place. Obviously, they've got a D-pad symbol, um, the the same thing that we use for the channel, Um, but that doesn't look so... Like in context, it doesn't look too silly. Yeah, I, d- I don't think anyway. I don't. So. Th- I think it looks fine. Yeah, but yeah, there isn't that. Mo- like, there's no real law for mine apart from him being a librarian and, and just being grumpy and everything. Yeah, so. there's like there's some uh, meeting notes a bunch of people wrote up as well. Yeah, which was just was just really fun. I say, yeah, the, the, there's a lot of like miscellaneous stories and just really cool stuff on the wiki. So yeah, it, I don't seem to remember it being particularly well organized. I think everyone kind of got a little bored of it by the time that we sh- we really need to start organizing it. But that's cool. Like what's there is really really, really Oh yeah, fun. Some fun. Um, like like you've got um a bunch of other like people who've been writing in their 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 captains and like kind of what they do and like like making their own entries to their characters which are just they're, they're all great great reads and yeah. a lot of fun to read. So yeah, go go have a look and make your own captain if you really want. That's fine. Yeah. And drama um, mats also like people have been trying to figure out what drama mat is. Yeah, that's the yeah the next question is um, just uh, what is what is my official name in this? Am I Captain Drummer Mat or am I Captain Drummer Butt? I say like, assuming I am a captain. Oh, you're, dude, oh, yeah. you are a captain. Uh, you're part of the, uh, the, the like, like Dicko, inner Dicko is like Captain Dicko Slew. <laughs> Well, yeah, obviously. Because yeah. after the the <laughs> FTL playthrough, we had yeah. we had a Dicko yeah. Slew. 
Yeah. Uh, there was some artwork that uh, was commissioned for us um, that di- that showed um, us and you and Dicko. Okay. Uh, I looked um, amazing. I, I did show you at the time, but um, but yeah. So you are. I think you're a tech marine. But you've got um, like okay. dr- like drum arms coming out with like symbols on them. Yeah, oh, that's, that's it's fucking really awesome. Okay. I'll link it to I'll link it to you afterwards. It's amazing. So I did show you at the time, but you know okay. it was a while ago. Yeah, so. I think occasionally when I apply to emails, if they've come from some inquisitor somewhere, I've said that I'm t- something to do with this the administration captain. I think <laughs> no, it's fine. Just say oh, it's the captain's fault. Yeah, so good. Because you're not lying. <laughs> um, and the last question from the same person is um. Would we consider running a um, 40k RPG using the, these characters? <laughs> I would. I personally would not run it with those characters because if I want, to, if I was going to run a 40k RPG, I'd want to get balls deep in lore for my character. Yeah, no, that's. <laughs> and so running a slightly tongue-in-cheek character is not what I'd want to I, do. Yeah, I'd probably roll my space with Luca before he was a dreadnought because he's he's my pup. I would love to play Deathwatch one day. I hear I hear it's pretty good. I really do want to play. So, there's an answer for you. Yes. Okay, moving on. Lars Hammerhead, Chief Librarian of blah, 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 etc. Long title. Um, <laughs> well, okay. Um, would like to know more of the ways of our strange chapter. So, it's a, a li- related question. Um, first up, how do the Cardinal Archivists um, treat the non-Astartes in their service, service? We're super bros with them. Very nicely. Yes, because we oh, understand that they have good. they have a hard job, and we're really grateful that they work so hard to like polish our armor and just be nice guys. Because we're basically hot garbage, so the fact yeah. they do things for us is very nice. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. And um, furthermore, do we field any troops not supported by the Codex? <clears throat> no. I mean, it's not like I ride a wolf into battle or something. Fuck off. Uh, there is the oh fuck, I've forgotten the name of them. Um, but we have what are because it's it's you know based off the band and stuff. There is effectively a we loy- effectively have like noise marines. Yeah, loyalist noise marines. <laughs> yeah, because basically <laughs> yes. our band plays um, with and yeah, like one of the stories that someone wrote was we basically put on a gig where we where a bunch of orcs are basically hounded down into like a a canyon like it, and then like get involved in a fucking like mosh pit yeah and, just and then, kill each other and then there's at the one end of it it's blocked off with a stage where the <laughs> band effectively plays <laughs> and uh, and yeah just annihilates the orcs through sonic weapons and then i don't know yeah then getting into like the most vicious circle pit of all time yeah <laughs> i think so. i think yeah like it's pretty grim. Get, so, we um, get a marine caught in there. He's a dread now. I think, I think that's the big one. I mean, obviously, I like our structure is the the whole we say we're all captains thing. That that's probably against the codex too. <laughs> probably. <laughs> but, probably. Yeah. I mean, the fact that you have a lady marine is probably like the Inquisition would be cranky about that. Minor deviation. Come on. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> What's the next question? Um, final question on 40k. James D asks what your guy's favorite um, story is in 40k lore. Oh, um, just off the top of your head. <laughs> just off, yeah, just off the top of my fucking head, I suppose. Okay, if it was in terms, I like the one with chaos. <laughs> you know that one? It's pretty good. I mean, in terms of, because I mean, I've you've not read much than the Black Library, have you? No, I, I I don't read as much as I should, honestly. Yeah. Um, if it, in terms of like the actual stories, I've like proper stories I've read, like books and things. Um, I'd probably say my favorite is somewhere between um the novel. The novels Betrayer and First Heretic. I really like both of those books. Um, in terms of just a general story, one of my favourite ones is just a small little bit of um, fluff that they give for a an orc war that got lost in the warp and came out before it left. So the war boss went to go and kill himself so he'd have a duplicate of his favourite gun. That's straight <laughs> logic. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah. And it, it, all it says is the Wa quickly like disbanded afterwards in the confusion. It doesn't say what happened. It just said basically confusion reigned and everything fell apart. Don't ask questions. <laughs> I've always had a soft spot. Or, or actually, all orc lore is the best. Well, um, yeah. There's a uh, Wazdaka, the special character who I don't think is in the the new one. <laughs> I thought unfortunately. that was his proper name, Wazdaka the Special. <laughs> <laughs> he's really special though. Um, he he rides a uh, he's like the biker special character that they used to have. 
Um, his law is that one time he rode his bike basically off a ramp and slammed into the cockpit of a Titan, <laughs> killing all the crew. So he took down a Titan by driving into its head. <laughs> On his bike, to this day, he has the, f- the still flaming skulls of the crew. <laughs> Beautiful. Basically, Excellent. if you want my favourite story from 40k... It's Orc Doom Rider. Read any given Orc Codex and everything in there. <laughs> no, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. So that's, yeah... Um, final question uh, f- from um, Philip. Uh, they he's been um, quite enjoying the music we've introduced him to through mentioning it on the podcast. Um, so the question is, what other bands, groups, or artists would we recommend? Oh. Electric um, Six. So why you got to talk? Why you got to say this? I'm not going to stop talking for twenty minutes. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. I'll punch you. Okay, you're not allowed to say what I did. I just I just in in no order of preference. I listed. Just the first ten or so bands that came to my head, and I actually I think I ended up with twelve. Um, <laughs> yeah, so fair enough. Close. So just I've not so I've not said what genre they are or what they're like. I just listed a from bands saying in no order of preference. These are probably my favourite bands. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do you want to hear what they were? Yes. Sure. Yeah. So, Coheed and Cambria. Yeah, good choice. Yes. Yeah. Streetlight Manifesto. The I, best choice. Well. Uh, b- <laughs> ooh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> I know you'll you'll kill me. It's fine. Uh, Biffy Clyro, especially yeah, older really stuff. Um, Sixty-five days of static. I believe you. Blank. Mm. Uh, may- maybe she will. I'm not familiar with them at all. No, fair enough. Prophets of Rage. Yeah, I've been listening to that album. Listening to that album. It's a good um, album. Isn't it? It's good. Yeah. Um, Plans and Apologies, who are a were a very small local derby band. Yeah, I think I've seen so, them once. Niche. Um, <laughs> yeah. Aquabats is yes. particularly the old Scar stuff. More, I don't really listen to the. More yeah, no. Nah. It's fine, but it's just the old Scar stuff's better. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arcane Roots, Frank Turner, mm-hmm. Alexis on Fire, and Choking Victim. Yeah, they were my sort of relatively diverse. Um, bunch of bands that just came to the top of my head They're obviously not at all exclusively what i listen to or in fact if you give me if you ask me tomorrow it will probably be at least half of those will be different <laughs> no um, same with me but, honestly yeah but just off the top of my head those are my sort of vague recommendations for what i tend to listen to okay uh, as I well guess... as obviously fighting evil is cool the well, obviously, they're, they're number one yeah I mean, I guess we can make it easier on ourselves and since there's you know two of us and we don't have the time to think about it just name five okay go for it amateur Go on then. Okay. Um, well, you've already Streetlight Manifesto. Y- you've already mentioned Streetlight, who are my favorite, my favorite best band. And check it. Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I live with you she? or something. I'm not wrong, no. Okay, so yeah. Um, star fucking hipsters. Yeah, actually, star fucking hipsters. Yeah, they're, they're really good. Um, Random hand. Oh, they are good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Random hand are great. Mm-hmm. Um, arrogant sons of bitches. I knew. Yeah, I thought you. Were I fucking say love that. the arrogant yeah. sons of bitches, uh, especially. Um, Oh, Three Cheers for Disappointment album is like one of my favourite albums. Um, Lightyear. Yeah, well, they're, they're, yeah. they're like Fucking love Lightyear. Um, and. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, Flaming Tsunamis. I do really like the Flaming Tsunamis. Um, they have quite a wide variety of what they've done over the years. They started off as kind of a ska band and then just got heavier and heavier yeah. until they ended up in a weird, dissonant, avant garde thing by the end. That occasionally <laughs> yeah. also still had a horn section. It's weird. Okay, so you name five. <clears throat> electric Six. Yes. Lo- I love, love, love me some Electric Six. Ooh. Div- they do more than the gay bar. They do. They- they- gay bar part two, that song is fucking mind blowing. Gay bar part two gay is Gay bar really part good. two is amazing. Stop what you're doing and go listening to it because fuck, it's good. Mm. Like Electric Six with horns. <sighs> it's very nice. Rise Against. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, I like my screamy political punk. Yeah. Uh, garbage, because I'm a grunge bitch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Regurgitator. And they're an Aussie band, aren't they're they? A, Brizzy represents! <laughs> Fucking <laughs> yeah, mate! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it. Uh, oh, I've got, like, I've got my last, my last one. My last one. Because this is a thing. It is quite hard to think, like, completely yeah, off yeah, the top yeah, of your yeah. head. Mm. It That's is. why my list of, of three or four bands became 12. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go for... Like, I'm really on a dead posy kick right now. Mm. Like, they're, they're really okay. good. I like... They have a really heavy, dirty sounding kind of guitars. And like the the, uh, the singer, she's really fucking good. Mm. And I just... I love that kind of... It's very good. <laughs> very good. So yeah. 
Yeah. In no in no order of, of yeah, favourites yeah, yeah, at yeah. least. Yeah. And I think yeah, in as you say, yeah, give us ask us tomorrow and we'll probably name a different five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, no. Um I guess that's it. Yeah. Unless there's any more questions? Yeah, I guess no, that's, we'll die. that's the end of the questions this, this week. Okay, which, okay. Which I only remembered I was meant to check about an hour before we started recording. <laughs> <laughs> Did you write half of them? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I like how we were like, oh yeah, let's make this podcast shorter, and it's still gone on for way longer than we should, it probably should have. We get yeah. so hyped up talking about D&D. But, I mean, yeah, I, that's the thing. The weeks we've got D&D to talk about are fine. Oh, but I, I love talking about D&D, and I hope everyone else does too, because oh God, I, could, I, I'm thinking I would of, happily play every day. I mean, I'd die, but it'd be worth it. I'm thinking about it, like, because the description of the podcast is a video... Uh, is a podcast about video games, except when it isn't. It should, it should be, except for when it's about D and D. Because quite frequently, just because of the way things fall, we end up talking way more about D and D on this podcast than we do about video games. Well, yeah. I guess we're just going to have to start playing D and D more. Yeah, yeah, that will help. That I can't, I can't and see any problem with your logic. There. Thank you. Yes, it's good, good logic. Very flawless. <laughs> Oof. Uh, but anyway, we should leave the lovely people at home alone now. Yeah, so thank you for your questions and thank you for listening. I've been Snipe, been Wib, and Drummer Butch. Thank you very much for listening and don't forget to eat your vegetables, drink milk because it's full of calcium which is good for bones, and brush your teeth two times a day. We want you to have good, strong bones. We need you to have good, strong bones. <laughs> the upcoming revolution will require strong boned people. The enamel is being craved. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>